Hello guys, in this video, we will see how to create and connect to AWS EC2 instance for Fedora. I have connected to my AWS management console, then click on services, then search for EC2. EC2 is nothing but Elastic Compute Cloud. Click on EC2. Website menu is the EC2 dashboard and these are the resources, launch instance, scheduled events, migrate a server and quick ID filter, service health, account attributes and other information. See in the resource section, we have instances, placement groups, volumes, dedicated hosts, key pays, security groups, elastic IPs, load balances and snapshots. At present, I have total 4 instances are running. If you want to create or set up new instance, just click on this launch instance or click on instances. Then click on launch instances. Okay, I have 4 instances are running. See, instance state is running. Instance type is T2 micro. This is the availability zone. These are public IPs. These are public DNS. These are public IPs and this is the instance created date. Now click on launch instances to create the AWS EC2 instance for Fedora. Here provide the name. I am giving Fedora IN. See in application and OS images that is Amazon machine image. We can call simply AMI. In quick start, we have Amazon Linux, Ubuntu, Windows, Red Hat, Susu Linux, Mac OS and Debian. But we are unable to find here Fedora. So click on this browse more AMIs. Again AMI is nothing but Amazon machine image. Click on more AMIs. See here quick start AMIs, my AMIs, AWS market AMIs, community AMIs. First, we will check Fedora is available in quick start AMI or not. Scroll down. We don't have AMI for the Fedora. We are unable to find. Okay. Now in this case what we have to do? We have to click on this AWS market AMIs. Then search for Fedora. See, available AMIs for Fedora are total 74 results. 34, Fedora 34, 33, 34. So, we have only up to Fedora 34. Sel then select the Fedora 34 cloud based images. See, this is the summary. Typical cost is 0 0.021 per hour. Product details, pricing, uses support click on continue see here it has selected fedora cloud based 34 version architecture is x86 and 64 solution and root device is ebs here instance type we don't have creator so in this case we have to select list memory and cpus next is key pair key pair see the definition here you can use a key pair to securely connect to your instance ensure that you have access to selected key pair before you launch the instance also here key pair name required click on new key pair then provide fedora 34 im key pair type is rsa and private key file format is pem click on create key pair see once we have clicked on it has downloaded the pem file now next network settings see network it has selected default vpc subnet also it has selected my subnet rhl you can change them i will show you also here auto assign public ip has been disabled and security group it has selected create security group. You can also select the existing one. I am keeping create security group. 
see these are the connections here. allow ssh traffic from anywhere we, you can give custom ip range also you can give only your ip but here we are unable to enable auto assign public ip also we have to give the new security proof by clicking on this edit button see here we can change vpc subnet also we can enable auto assign public ip then here we are going to provide the name for security group sg for fedora see ssh see inbound security group rules ssh tcp port number 22 and source type anywhere now storage by default it has selected 6 gb here i am giving 30 gb because we have free tier eligible customers can get up to 30 GB EBS general purpose or magnetic storage. Here we have different root volumes. If you want add another volume or if you want to add new volume, just click on this add new volume. Next one is advanced details. Go through each option, provide required options as for your requirement. Last one, user data. See, user data is nothing but the script which can be run after the instance has been launched. Click on info, see here, specify user data, provide commands or command script to run when you launch your instance. So, whatever the commands or script we have provided here, that will be executed after successful launch of the instance. So, this is the summary. If you want to create more than one instance, just we have to provide number of instances. Software image, AMI, instance type, t 3 small firewall or security group, new security group. But here we have give, we have provided security group, but it is not reflecting here. No need to worry. Once we click on this create instance, it automatically creates this security group. Storage volume, we have provided 30 gigabytes. Now click on launch instance. Notice here subscription to your EMI is taking longer than expected. We can close this one, then go to instances. See, it is not reflecting. Just click on this refresh button. See, name is Fedora and its status is running and its instance type is t3.small. Status check, it is initializing. Availability zone, this is the availability zone. This is the public DNS. This is public IP. This is the security group name see before it was showing new key name that we have provided this is the instance launch time reload whether the checks has been passed or not see still its status is initializing i am pausing this video until this status has to change like two by two checks passed see two by two checks passed now click on the instance id see this is the instance summary instance id public ip address private IP address, private IP DNS, public IP DNS, instance type, platform Fedora, platform details, Linux and Enix, AMI ID, number of CPUs. Okay. Now click on connect. See here, connect to instance. Here we have four options. EC2 instance connect, session manager, SSH client, EC2 serial console. Try to connect to EC2 instance connect. Just click on connect. It will be failed. See, it got failed. Why? Because now go to SSH client, copy this entire connection string, then open CMD, paste here. Again, this will be also failed. Why? I will show you after this. Press enter. Type S. C. Permission denied. Why? Because this Fedora 34 in is not there in this current direct. So, we have to switch to this Fedora 34 in.fem file downloaded directory. I have downloaded this Fedora 34 in.fem file in downloads. Now switch to downloads directory. 
Now run the same command. Press enter. See, see, we have, see, we have successfully connected to Fedora. See, this is the private IP. Here also it is showing the same private IP. Let's verify whether this is Fedora or not. For confirmation, run more slash etc slash etc os hyphen release. See, we have connected to Fedora and its version is 34. It is cloud edition. Okay. So, we are able to connect to Fedora. Now, click on instances. If you want to stop the instance, just select this checkbox in front of the instance and click on instance state. Then click on stop instance. It is asking confirmation. Click on stop. Successfully stopped the instance. See, its state is stopping after stopped if you want to start again just check the instance and here click on the start instance so in this video we have seen how to create our setup and connect to aws instance for fedora for more aws and cloud and linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you